Uh, hey learners, uh, welcome again to today's lesson. Uh, my name is Mr. Meshak. Uh, welcome to Emats uh, with the Ngige. Uh, kindly remember to subscribe, share, and also comment on how these lessons are helpful to you. So today we're going to learn something new, and uh, that is uh, finding determinants using the service method. So finding determinants using the service method. And uh, so in the previous lesson, in case you missed, we saw how to find uh, determinants uh, using the, uh, the normal way of finding determinants. Now we have a special way or another form of finding determinants, and this is the circles. So now let's take an example here. Uh, find the determinants using Sarus method, uh, Sarus uh, determinant method, given the matrix A as 4, negative 7, 6, uh, negative 2, 4, 0, 5, uh, 7, negative 4. So, how do you work out determinants using Sarus method? This one is a very, very simple way. So, solution. So, one, you shall write the matrix that you have here. So we shall have 4, negative 7, 6, negative 2, 4, 0, 5, 7, negative 4. Then you shall take the first and the second column, the first and the second column, and write them beside the matrix. So you shall rewrite these two columns again. So you shall have 4 negative 2, 5, then negative 7, 4, and you have 7. So the same, same elements. So having this matrix, you take the first two columns and rewrite them outside the matrix uh, so that you have them uh, beside on the right hand side of the matrix. Then, uh, so where does now the Saros uh, application comes in? By Saros method we say, you take, you multiply uh, elements that appear in the main diagonal, that is the main diagonal, the three of them, so you shall take this, you multiply those terms, then you add these terms, then you add this. So, you shall take four times four, times negative 4, then plus uh, negative 7 times 0 times 5, then plus uh, 6 times negative 2 times 7. Then, uh, so we shall have this. Then you come again and work out the other diagonals. Uh, you have the other diagonal. Uh, so we have this one that comes from the left hand side, the right hand side corner. Then you take now the other ones uh, from the right hand side, the left hand uh, side corner. So you will get the solution to that. Then come again and have this. So you shall have that one. Then that. Then that. So again, so you have 5 times 4 times 6 plus 7 times 0 times 4 then plus uh, negative 4 times negative 2 times negative 7. So you have the main diagonal as the first then you multiply, you multiply, you multiply the, the three terms, then add them. Uh, then we have the other diagonals again, do the same, same thing. Then whatever value or whatever solution you shall find in the main diagonal, subtract the other diagonal. So therefore, you can work this one out. So 4 times 4, that is 16, 16 times negative 4, that is negative of 64. So you have negative of 64 plus uh, this one, just that you have a zero here, it just becomes zero plus. Then you have uh, this is two, uh, six times negative two, that is uh, negative twelve. Then times seven, that should give you negative of eighty-four. So negative of eighty-four. So negative sixty-four, negative eighty-four. So negative sixty-four. 
84, negative 84. Uh, that one gives you negative of what? Negative of 148. So, uh, so we have negative 148. Then we come to this one. So 5 times 4 times uh, 6, that is 120. So 120 plus. So that's why that you have a zero here, it just becomes a zero. Then plus uh, this is negative four, negative two, that is negative eight. Uh, it's positive because it's negative, negative. Then that one gives you negative 56. Then 120 minus 56 gives you, so you can have 120 minus 56. So this one gives us 11, then we have four, then we have uh, we have 6. So therefore, we have 64. So therefore, therefore, the determinant will be given by negative 148 minus 64. So minus minus, that gives you minus. So this and that gives you 2. And then 1, then we have 2. So negative of 212. And that is how you solve a uh, determinant using the circus uh, method. So let's take example number two to see. So example number two, uh, find the determinant, the date of A, so given matrix A as that. So we are saying, so we are, remember you are using the circus method, eh? so solution. So therefore we say it, you have the matrix, so you have one, 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 2, negative 3, 4, 3, negative 2, negative 2. Then we write the first and the second column outside the matrix. So 1, 2, 3, then you have 1, negative 3, negative 2. So you have that. Then multiply the numbers in the main diagonal, then subtract, uh, multiply the numbers in the main diagonal, the three of them and add them together then su and subtract the others in the other diagonal. So we, uh, we take this and this and this, so we take the main diagonal is made up of this. Uh, we have the first one, the second, and the third. We have those, so we have one times negative three times negative two, then plus, 1 times 4 times 3, then plus 1 times 2 times negative of 2. So we have that. Then the other, uh, the other diagonals, now you take the other, uh, the other diagonals from the right hand corner, the left. Therefore, the determinant will be given by 
14 minus minus 21. So therefore, this 14 plus 21, which gives you what? 30, 35. So the determinant of the matrix A is given by 35. And that is how you get determinants using the Sarus method. So uh, with the other methods that you know, you can add these in your lists and uh, it will really help you out when it comes to evaluation of determinants. So remember, subscribe, share, uh, comment, you can also like and uh, let's learn uh, the concepts of mathematics together. So see you in the next lesson as we check how to find the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix. Thank you.